y'all had is proof is prove who we are according to the Bible. A lot of people think that the Bible is some uh, fairy tale, close your eyes, add water and stir type of book, but no, it is in fact a history book for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as uh, us that's scattered abroad, because we got people from Nigeria, that's Israelites, uh, all over the coast of Africa, uh, you got even our people stretch as far as the Philippines and China and Japan. Yes, our people went into slavery over there too. But what we're going to show today, Andre, Shante, is our history according to the Bible. My sister with the hair wrap. My sister with her hair wrap. Let me ask you a question real quick. Come here real quick, sis. I want to ask you a question. How you doing, sis? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. My name is Yekiel. What's your name, sis? Shante. Shante. Pleasure to meet you, Shante. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality? You're a child of God. You know what? Yeah, absolutely right. You're absolutely right when you say that. Um, you know how, I guess, we can prove who our father is or who our mother is, whether it be a birth certificate, whole nine. My next question to you is that, can you prove who you are? Can you prove who you are? I got the same question for y'all two as well. How y'all, how you doing, sis? Come here real quick, let me wrap with y'all. All right, I got you. Can you prove who you are? Can you prove who you are? No, I mean, I got an idea for it. But can you, you said yes. How can you prove who you are? Shantae, right? What's your name, sir? Andre. So Andre and Shantae, you said that you have an idea. You said you can prove who you are. Tell me. By the scriptures? Okay, so you ever heard of the Israelites before? Okay, so you know you're an Israelite. Do you believe that, though? Do you believe that? Okay, okay. What about you? You ever heard of the Israelites, Andre, right? Yeah. Do you, you ever heard of the Israelites? No. No? Okay. Let me ask you a question, both of y'all, real quick. Um, according to your father's nationality, where do y'all see yourselves on this sign? Because there's so much more than just knowing who you are. Because once, you know, once you know who you are, there's a certain responsibility that comes with it. And that's what we're we're trying to allude to as well. Where do you see yourself on this sign? Where do you see yourself on this sign, Shanta? Judah, what about you, Andre? Judah. Judah, okay, okay. So what we're going to do, um, just to make sure you had this proof, both of y'all had this proof, is prove who we are according to the Bible. A lot of people think that the Bible is some uh, fairy tale, close your eyes, add water and stir type of book, but no, it is in fact a history book for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as uh, us that's scattered abroad, because we got people from Nigeria, that's Israelites, uh, all over the coast of Africa, uh, you got even our people stretch as far as the Philippines and China and Japan, yes, our people went into slavery over there too, but what we're going to show today, Andre, Shante, is our history according to the Bible. Uh, Ma'am, back here, what's your nationality? White, okay, listen, listen, listen. We're, we're gonna give a history lesson for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it should come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments, and the statutes which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, I'm gonna have a brother read the scripture again, but I wanna know, I just wanna pick y'all brain real quick, cause we gonna be up here for hours talking with the mic. Um, are you familiar with the book of Deuteronomy? Okay, so that's when Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? What about you, Andre? Are you familiar with Moses and the children of Israel leading them out of Egypt okay let's see who Moses was talking to let's see who Moses was talking to first read this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1 
These be the words that Moses spoke spake unto all Israel. Read that again. These be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. These are the words that Moses spoke unto all Israel. Right. And don't mention anybody else, because yes, there were other nations that came out of the land of Israel with the Israelites, but Moses was only talking to Israel. Remember, I brought out, this is our history book. We're gonna see who this history is pertaining to. All right, go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it said, it shall come to pass. What does that mean, Chantel? It shall come to pass. It shall be, what about you, Andre? What does that mean to you? It shall come to pass. It's gonna happen in the future, right? So what's gonna happen in the future? Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we wouldn't listen to God, if we wouldn't listen to God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if we didn't keep God's commandments, and he said all of them, it wasn't just the ones we wanted to keep or that we like to keep. He said all the commandments. Hey, young, have him stop and listen. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my next question is, God said if we didn't listen, curses was going to come upon us. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Is it, what about you? Okay, it's a bad thing. So he is speaking to the children of Israel, letting them know curses was going to come upon us. Next question. The, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in Chicago, as a people, as a collective, who, who do you think is cursed in Chicago? As a people. Not as an individual, but as a people. I don't want to say it. We're not going to say anybody that... Uh, anybody that... That's not walking away from the Lord is under a curse, but if they keep their not under a curse, especially child. That's why when you ask me what was my right. nationality, I said a child of God because it's going to be by the truth. So it's going to be how I live. I get what you I get where you're going, but do, okay, so do you think everybody can be a child of God? We know there are people there are children of the devil, I'm gonna say that. Right. But I don't but according to the scripture, it's about Christ saying you know, who believes on me, he can't do what it is in the whole world. If you don't believe on him, shall be saved. Okay. So if we believe on him regardless of nationality. We're saved, but I do understand the Bible. There is the people that they're talking about, and I hey, my brother, my brother, people bro. Who are fight, bro. All right, all right. So I got you. I got you. So we're gonna, we're gonna. So what you said was very, very important because a lot of it is nothing. Uh, I understand why you said that, and a lot of our people believe and trust that. Like you said, God. You said that uh, Christ, but anybody that believes in Him, that's who He is sent for. Right? Okay. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to touch on a couple of curses and then we're going to get into what Chantel said regarding that. Because a curse is a bad thing. Huh? I'm, I'm over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, the secure side. Okay. Which I do believe according to No, I understand. I heard you. I heard you. I'm not, I'm not, going, I'm not messing up your words. I heard you clear. Let's go to verse 16. We're going to touch on some curses. You listening, Andre? You got a question? Yeah, I, I ask you. Uh, hold on. Give me, give me a couple of more minutes. I got you. I got you. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Oh. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So it said, cursed shalt thou be in the city, and this is for the brother, because you understand you're an Israelite, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. In Chicago, as a people, we are a cursed people, right? We're the ones on mainly on drugs, getting shot down in the streets, on welfare. Planned Parenthood is set up on uh, most of our corners on the south side and west side. 
you don't you don't really see that around here like that. And when you go uh, like to the northwest suburbs and the west suburbs, you don't see Planned Parenthood set up everywhere. And it also said, "Curse shall thou be in the field." When were we in the field? And slavery, right? But you also had other nations in the field with us. You had the white man in the field with us, but were they the ones getting whipped on their backs? No. So, the prime example, these are real photos. Come look at these real quick. You can take a picture too if you want to. These are real, actual photos of us being cursed in the field. Go to verse 32. The sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given into another people. So Andre, it said, the children of Israel, their sons and daughters shall be given into another people. When were our sons and daughters given unto another people? You said when? Yeah, when? Yeah, I think slavery. slavery. It's still happening today too, right? You got child protective services. For us, if they take our children away, we gotta go through loops and holes and bounds and all type of stuff to even have visitation rights of our children. Um, Y'all heard of ICE, right? They've taken a lot of our Hispanic uh, brothers and sisters' children away from them, locking them in cages, not giving them back. So it was happening back then, you right, in slavery, but it's still happening until this day. It's still happening until this day. I'm going to get one more curse to show, because all these curses, if you read in Deuteronomy 28, it points to us. But I'm going to get something that's very uh, concrete to point that it's talking about our history and talking about us. Read 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And it said, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Give me Exodus 20 and 2 to show what the word Egypt means. Because every word has a meaning to it. You listening, Andre? Every word got a meaning. We're going to show you what the word Egypt means out of the Bible. Read. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land, land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Read it again. Read it slow. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So it said, he's brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what does the word Egypt mean? Bondage, right? What's another word for bondage? Slavery. So when you see the word Egypt, Andre, think of slavery. That's why if you look on the back of a dollar bill, uh, it even show you on the fly, you look on the back of a dollar bill, it has a pyramid with the eye of oars. Showing that this, this land was built off of what? Our slavery, right? You know, this land continues to run off our slavery. This, this city of Chicago, Chicago itself was built off our backs. And it's continuing to function off our demise. Think about that. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, into slavery again. Because remember, Andre, the Israelites were in slavery in Egypt, right? You remember the song, Let My People Go? That was about us in Egypt. Pharaoh had us in slavery. But God said he will bring you into slavery again with what? With ships. With ships. Next question, how did we get to America? By slave ships, right? Cargo slave ships to be exact. Like I said, these are real, you know how, I, I don't know if you, uh, I know at like UPS, Amazon, they train people to stack boxes up properly like Tetris to fit as many packages as you can in the truck. They did the same thing to us in the slave ships. Let's stack them up as many as we can and bring them over in slave ships. 
So God said, because we didn't keep his commandments, he was going to bring us back into slavery by way of slave ships. We came to America in slave ships. No other nations went into slavery on slave ships. Only the blacks, the Hispanics, when the conquistadors came over here and took them back to Spain in the slave ships, and the Native Americans, when the uh, conquistadors and also the other European uh, so-called white men took them into slavery back into England. We the only group of people went into slavery on slave ships. Nobody else. So you know this is pointing to us. This is our history. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 